Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about uh, such a glowing object behind refraction material. So we need an example here. So this small sphere here is set to always unlit and um, here in the post-processing um, there's a bloom bloom effect on so this is a glowing thing here and as I said the material is additive so so opaque blending refraction subsurface only the additive thing does a little bit of this uh, glowing thing so but when you want such a glowing object behind a refractive material so refraction here this uh, sphere is set to refraction and so you can't see anything because uh, yeah inside the, the other uh, sphere the refraction blocks the glowing effect so yeah Okay, with this one it doesn't work, so delete. So here you see a other object with uh, yeah, glowing. So when you bring it outside the refractive material, then yeah, it glows outside and inside. <laughs> nice. So um, here a other one here. Um, like this um, okay so how to do this so this one I delete so I add a, a sphere and make it a little bit smaller so um, not this one so the sphere is now inside the refractive material and the color here is when I use the picker here so it's pure white so set it to uh, pure white paint all so that the material for the map is a white material and now we have to bake a texture so i set this to color and not to emissive here so uh, this is a color thing here so and then i bake it from itself and now here is the color texture at the moment here um, on the color slot and now we need a emissive map so press on this files and you find it in the nomad folder and tmp textures and this is uh, the last um, color texture so it's only a black and white a black not a black a white canvas pure white canvas so put this um, in the emissive uh, slot here and you can play a little bit here with the um, with the colors so for the glowing effect so you, you can set the color texture slot color to something you want here and then apply also the emissive color so here you can mix a little bit of the whole things together and and see what happens so what you get um, which effects you get here So yeah. 
like this so yeah let's you can play with the colors a little bit so and the intensity here is the glowing effect so you can control it like this here and so for the post-processing uh, so you can also control via the intensity slider so So let's play with the emissive intensity and let's test the color. So that's blue, green is works very fine and um, so here the main color so here the the main color effects only between white and black I think so let's see yeah and if there's no color texture here, then it's white. So you need the color texture. So for this. Yeah. Okay, maybe it helps. So have fun with sculpting and ciao.